the impact of a misdiagnosis on the disease progression is multiple. So it can firstly be that you don't have cancer actually at all. Then obviously it is decreases because you get treated for not having something. But it also can be a misdiagnosis that is uh, assessed too severe or not severe enough. So you don't get the adequate level of treatments or not the right drugs. So actually getting it right and getting it right at the first time is very crucial for disease progression or well, the lack thereof. Before we started this company, my husband and I met a patient called Linda. And Linda was diagnosed with a very aggressive breast cancer and she went through surgery and chemotherapy and everything. However, the horrible part is that after surgery, it turned out that her sample was mixed up in the laboratory with another patient and she never had cancer. And this triggered the passion of myself and my husband so much to look deeper into this process and come up with the idea of what's now in Vox. So the innovation on medical technology uh, when diagnosing tumor is very full. The standard as today is, is pretty much the same as 100 years before. You take a sample, you dissect it, then you stain it, and then a pathologist looks at it under the microscope, exactly like 100 years ago. There is more technology, there is better instruments, but these underlying principles are still the same. So you have one option of just making that whole process better, more convenient, faster, uh, more accurate or you go on different levels, like how can I analyze it additionally, like taking blood samples in addition, having CT scans. So just enhancing the data points that you have when making the diagnostic decision. We are aiming to solve the pre-analytical procedures of cancer diagnosis. That means from the point of care at the physician where a biopsy sample is taken, all the way through when the pathologist runs the diagnosis. And because the procedures are still done very manually and paper-based, there's a high potential for errors such as a slip of paper um, or losing the samples that we would like to prevent. And at the same time, we would like to collect a lot of data to, to get to a whole new level of cancer diagnosis. We at NVAOC, we are using AI for the imaging analytics of biopsies, which are biopsies which come directly in containers into the pathology lab. We are using it to determine in the skins and in the material if we can find cancer or not cancer. We also determine the size and the number of biopsies which are in the container, which has very much been used in the workflow later in the pathology lab. We are going forward in AI to try to determine already that we have maybe biopsies which have no cancer cells been inside, which would mean we have a much faster diagnosis to the customer and we would save a lot of time and efforts in the labs. Now, the hope of digitizing pathology, for example, is that we become much faster, more efficient, and I think this is also something that is highly needed. There is a bit of hesitation among a few pathologists to really adapt to this new world, making use of artificial intelligence, machine learning. However, at the end, we as pathologists, for example, we are very good in pattern recognition, but pathology is a very qualitative discipline. And through these innovative technologies, we see a transition from a qualitative to a quantitative very precise discipline. So we believe that the future of tissue processing um, will be on an automated platform that handles the sample preparation for the diagnosis and at the same time supports the lab staff and the pathologist to collect all necessary data that we need for the diagnosis. That starts with the clinical data about where the sample was taken, ends with how the sample looks like during the procedures of the laboratory but also kind of image analysis, um, how the sample looks like when it was treated and how it comes together with the cell images later on um, at the microscopic picture. And um, with all that information, we believe that can bring us to a whole new level of cancer diagnosis. Healthcare will be one of the core industries for a stable and prosperous society. And founders and their startups will play a critical role to come up with new innovations 
and use all this potential we have with new technology like digitalization. The biggest success factor is to have a great team. And a great team unites all the competences you need. For example, a deep understanding of the market or the ability to build up a scalable organization. The biggest challenges for the healthcare industry in the next decades is cost and cost increases. Already today, you have inflation rates of more than 20%, while at the same time, you have the lowest technology adoption rates across all industries. So in order to decrease costs and make care accessible for all patients, you need to handle costs, you need to manage them, and for that you need to bring in new technologies. 